You know, you don't have to walk me all the way to the door. We can say goodnight right here. What you afraid if your parents see you with me again, they're going to go ballistic, huh? They can't know we were at the benefit together, Chad. And we were. All right, I went with Ethan to check out some music for his wedding, and I mean, he didn't know that you were going to be with Teresa. Even so, after the blow-up with my parents over what didn't happen at the cabin, I don't want to take any chances. The house is dark. Guess your parents must be asleep. But you know, in case they uh, look through the window and see us together, might as well give them something to freak out about. Relax. I wasn't going to kiss you. I know you want me to keep my distance from you, and that's cool with me. I just wonder what your folks would do if they caught us kissing. I don't even want to think about it. I bet you Coach Russell would come after me with a shotgun. You know, joking about guns and shooting people isn't that funny. Sorry, you're right. Look, just... Don't tell my parents about us running into each other tonight, okay? I don't want to go through another Chad did what scene. Especially with my mom. Chill out. Look, I told you folks that there's nothing going on between us. And there's no reason for them to think otherwise, all right? You know, second thought, we did fool all them uh, experts at the wedding planner, huh? I mean, I'm just wondering what made them think we were a perfect couple. I just wonder what those judges saw between us to make them think we was Harmony's most perfect couple. Well, um, we put on a good act for a good cause. Besides, you know, we tied with Teresa and Ethan, and they're no more a perfect couple than we are. Well, I mean, Teresa's mine, they are. Please, please, don't remind me. I mean, no matter what Ethan does or says, or doesn't do or doesn't say, Teresa is convinced that he's going to marry her instead of Gwen. You sure Teresa ain't on something? Excuse me? Sometimes I think Ethan is in love with Teresa. He just can't admit it to himself yet. I mean, you saw how they were together at the cabin, and again tonight. Okay, look, you are as crazy as Teresa if you think there can be anything more than just friendship between them. They come from two different worlds, Chad. There can never be anything serious between them. Just like you don't think there could ever be anything serious between you and a guy like me, right? You can't ever see anything happening between us. Am I right? Well, I was talking about Teresa and Ethan. Huh. He could never fall in love with her. Yeah, well, uh... Them judges sure were wrong about us being a perfect couple, boy. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. <laughs> I don't know where they dream up those crazy contests. I know, like they could prove anything. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what? That garter bit was definitely the worst. <laughs> I cannot believe I danced like that. <laughs> yeah, but one thing's for sure, though. You definitely did not get any of those moves that you had from a straight-laced mama, okay? I mean, she would have freaked out if she saw a little girl shimmying her butt all. <laughs> Sexy like an adult, you know what I'm saying? I know, it was like I was a total other person. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe it was because I had on that nice wedding gown, you know? Yeah, well then I say, you know what I say? I say, ditch those tennis clothes you got and start wearing wedding gowns. That's right, wear wedding gowns around town. You make every man smile for days. Oh, right, right. Like you can picture me walking around Harmony wearing my wedding gown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my parents would definitely freak on that. They definitely would. <laughs> You know, Chad, there is something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I'm sorry if I hurt you when you heard me tell Simone that I didn't want to have anything to do with you. I mean, I can't have anything to do with anyone because of tennis. It's not because of you. Well, thanks for the apology. But you ain't being totally honest. All right, you say you're sorry that I heard you. But you ain't said you're sorry for saying what you said. And that's because you think your mom is right about me. Am I right, Whitney? Admit it. You think your mom is right about me. 
that I'm trouble, that you should stay as far away from me as you can get. My mom has reasons for the way she thinks. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy that your mom's, the uptight, upright Dr. Russell, don't want for her daughter any more than you don't want me for yourself. And you know what? Let's go with me. Really. No problem. Mm. So you really do understand. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, I get it loud and clear, okay? I mean, like I said before, ain't no skin off my nose, you know? Mm. I mean, I ain't here in harmony to bag myself an uptown girl, okay? I'm staying here to try to find my folks. Not like I think they're going to turn out to be anything special. Hell, they didn't want me back then. Uh, don't see no reason why they'd want me now. As far as I know, I'm just... It's what you call a bastard, right? Some stain on a good family's name. You don't know that, Chad. People give up children for a lot of reasons. It doesn't mean they don't love you. Yeah, well, I ain't holding my breath. Something tells me if I do find them, I ain't gonna be greeted with open arms. I just want to know who they are. So I know who I am. You know? Yeah. And I want you to find that. You know, I just, I just don't know what more you could do. I mean, you've checked all the town records, the internet. You went round and round with Orville, still came up empty. Well, I might have one more chance. I mean, it's a long shot, but... Okay, what is it? Okay, well, I met up with this reporter at the wedding planner, and uh, I made a deal with him where I let him interview me in exchange. He promised to help me try to find the skinny on my past. Well, that's great. Yeah. Let me know if you come up with anything, okay? Okay. Count on it. Um, I gotta get back inside for my parents' wicket. Thanks for bringing me home. Whitney, wait. Before you go, there's something... There's something I want to tell you first. What did you want to tell me, Chad? Well, you know, aside from a few DJing gigs, I mean, nothing much has really happened with my music career since I've been here in Harmony, you know? So unless this reporter finds hay dirt, you know, I'm just going to help Ethan finish finding the music for his wedding, and then, and then I'm going to leave, go back to L.A. You'd really leave Harmony? Well, not unless... Not unless I had a really good reason to stay. Uh, uh, I just wish that I... Uh... What? Say it. I just wish you the best of luck. Um, uh, yeah, you might as well take this and, um, put it with all the rest of your trophies. You know, maybe one day you'll, you'll meet a guy that you'll let love you and, um, it'll be a guy that you won't be afraid to love back. And then maybe you'll be part of a perfect couple for real. This place was here, man. This is great. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? So, uh, what'll it be? Oh, it's uh, cranberry juice, thanks. Yeah. Hey, listen, you're here just in time. Our new singer's starting her first set. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Boy, I sure have missed America. I have been performing in Europe for, well, almost 20 years now. My name is Crystal, and this is the first of what I hope will be many nights here in Harmony. This first song I'm going to sing, I would like to dedicate to an old friend who knew the blues firsthand. i 